so this is it with um, all 12 functions now and uh, programming's all done. The only thing I have to do is switch from uh, dip switches to a uh, variable resistor um, because I couldn't find any bigger switches. It's for my mom, so it's gotta be easy to use. And I couldn't find any bigger dip switches. I found like a couple of rotary dial things, but none of them were big enough. So I found a potentiometer with like a inch and a half or inch and a quarter um, shaft, which will be easy to put in the box. Anyway, so here's all the 12 functions. Um, this is just lighting one at a time, um, mostly for testing and I needed it. This is called bubble up. Um, and just scrolls from bottom to top. Let's see. Um, this is called screw spin. That's paddle spin. Um, this is just like a couple randoms at a time. This is basically fully random. Uh, let's see. Oh, raindrops. Oops. And this is candle. And as the counter goes down, the candle will burn down until there's just flames, or I mean, flickering pixels for the very end. And then when the timer's up, uh, reveal kill power and turn it off. Right now the uh, delay is set for an hour. Um, let's see, did it that all? Oh, bottom to top. Pulsing. Two fireflies. And spiral snake or spinning snake? Sliding snake. And let's see, it's uh, just over a thousand lines of code and it takes up 6K on the Arduino. So that fits in the 30K I have. And um, I need to see how long it'll run off double E batteries. Um, it, the batteries couldn't supply enough current to keep all the lights on all the time for very long. But if you just turn on a couple at a time, um, it'll work. So let's see. So if I unpro unplug it from the computer, actually remove the USB connector, power battery, and so momentary voltage um, powers up the circuitry that turns the three volts into the five volts the thing needs, then one of the lines on the um, Arduino chip uh, pulls a relay up. Then when the timer's up, the chip itself just flips the state of that switch and kills power to itself. So you just push a button to turn it on and it'll do its thing for an hour. And let's see, what else? Um, Still have to finish the jar, still have to finish the case, and then hopefully that's the end of it because this is taking much longer than I thought. And that's it so far. Hopefully, update later.